In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to use ISO, kind of like ISO priority like we did aperture and shutter speed priority in previous lessons. This time we're going to use ISO uh, priority, but they really don't call it ISO priority, they call it the program mode. So what I'm going to do is I have this little setup right here. You can see I have my light pointing at my little Mayan god, and then I have a uh, camera right here that's pointing at that, and we're going to take pictures of this little Mayan god at five different ISOs, at 100, 200, 400, 800, and 1600. Okay, we're going to start this in P mode, so I'm going to just rotate the mode dial till, it's on, till the line is on the P, and this is kind of like uh, ISO priority, just like we did time value or, or aperture value, or, or shutter speed priority, aperture priority, depending on which camera you're using. So I put it on P, and then I'm going to press the display button right here. And notice the display button shows up and it says ISO is 100. That's what I want to take the picture on. And since I'm in the P mode, it's going to um, take the picture at ISO and then it's going to set the f-stop and, and uh, the aperture. I mean the f-stop and the shutter speed. So now I'm going to take the picture. And notice right here, it's at 125th of the second at 5.6. Now the reason I have it on a tripod is because that's a pretty slow shutter speed and it's hard to get a good sharp picture at, at a slow, slow shutter speed. So I'm not going to change the ISO. So I hit the display button, ISO is 100, and then on the top of this one, right here on the top of the camera, is the ISO button. So I'm going to press that, and then it gives me this options for ISO. So I'm going to just toggle through here. I'm going to go to 200, take a picture. Notice it's at F150 at 5.6, so that doubled it. Now I'm going to do the same thing, display, hit the ISO button on the top, and I'm going to roll the wheel. You can either roll the wheel or use these buttons to change it. So I just set that, I take it again. Now notice, notice it went 1 80th of a second. I would have expected it to go 1 100th of a second, but it went to, it changed the f-stop from 5.6 to 6.3. So it stopped down the f-stop a little bit, I mean it closed a little bit, but it changed the shutter speed. So now we're going to do the display again, change it to 800, set it, and then I'm going to take the picture. And you'll notice it changed F8 now at 1 100th of a second. And then we'll do the last one. Oh, whoops. I forgot to, to hit, just hit display first. Then hit ISO, go to 1600, take my last picture. And there it is, 1 60th at 9. All right. Uh, we'll look at all these pictures and we'll compare them to each other. Now we get to look at the images that we took of that little Mayan god in Photoshop. As you can see, I have Photoshop open and I've opened those five images. I even renamed them so they're ISO 100, 200, 400, 800, and 1600. By the way, if you're watching this and it looks all fuzzy, change the resolution of the screen that make it go HD for you at either you know 720p or 1080p, and then you'll be able to see these things in pretty good detail. All right, we're going to look at comparisons of these right now. I, let's look at the 100 and then the 1600. I'm just switching between views right there and go and click on 100 and 1600. It really doesn't look that different. But let's look down here at um, the magnification. It's only magnified at 16.67%. Uh, that's, that's not very magnified. So I'm going to go through each one of these and I'm going to magnify them at, at 100%. So I'm going to control 1. And that's how you can magnify it at 100%. So I'm going to go control tab so it switches to the next one. This is the 200 one. Then I'm going to go control one, control tab, control one, control tab, control one, and control tab, and control one. And now these are all uh, zoomed in at 100%. And already, if we look between 100, the ISO 100 and the ISO 1600, we see a difference. Now, a lot of you are thinking, you're looking at ISO 1600, you're saying, oh, that looks a lot clearer. And I mean, it's, it's sharper. Well, it is a little bit because it's uh, there's more things in focus on that because you get, because when we went 1600, the the um, sh the um, f-stop you know, went to a higher number, which means the lens was closed more, the, the iris was closed more. But in, in the 100, you get finer detail. And on the 1600, notice you get that grain. Uh, some people call it noise. And we even get some noise here reflecting off of the, um, the sheet. Uh, 
I mean the 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 um, black cloth that I used to lay that down. You can't see that so much here because we have a little finer detail. Uh, let's look at the 800 one. See, you can still see some grain. 400, the green is finer. 200, it's even finer, and in 100, it's extra fine. And just to, to go really fast here, I'm going to zoom in to 300% um, on this. So I'm just clicking right there, right right down here, oops, right down there, and I'm changing that to 300%. And I'm going to uh, move, I'm holding on the space bar, and then I'm grabbing and moving. Uh, and we're just going to look at this detail right here uh, on 100, and then I'm going to look at the detail on on 1600 now you can see a pronounced difference with the detail when we zoomed into 300 percent there's the 1600 there's the 100 and then we can look at 800 i'll just zoom in on that also control plus that's the other way to do it and then hold that space bar down notice the difference between 1600 800 a little finer there's 100 Big difference. Going a couple on this one, and I'm doing Control Plus to zoom in again. And there's 400, 800, 1600. A lot more noise. Oh, that went to 400 percent. There we go. There's 200, 100, 200, 400. 800, 1600. Okay, I hope that helps you to figure out what to do with it. When, when you're using ISO and you want to blow something up really big when you're adjusting that, you may want to consider how fine the grain is. If you're using 1600 and you want to um, uh, make a, a print that's 8 by 10 or you know 16 by 20, uh, this is something to consider because it could end up uh, kind of ruining how the pictures look, look if you're using um, 1600 ISO or higher. Um, some of the newer cameras, this camera is about six years old. This is 2013. Camera is about six years old, five or six years old. And uh, newer cameras do a little bit better with their um, the grain and the noise that's in it. So, you know, you figure out what you're going to do. And uh, we'll see you in the next lesson.